Good morning, Pa. <clears throat> Good morning. I wake up like every day, honey. Like every day. Wondering what's on with you. Actually, I woke up. Oh, God, I'm so tired. I woke up in the middle of the night crying. Uh, the thought is reaching me that maybe you were really married. Oh, sorry, I'm so tired. I woke up in the night crying. I had the dream that maybe you are really married. And if yes, then, then perhaps you do not want to see me or hug me ever, ever again. I just I just woke up in the middle of the night crying and shaking like an idiot. I never really knew. Uh, I never really knew. Uh, uh, because you said so many times, you said so many times after all that traumatic departure that got me crazy, and losing my senses. You said for so many times that you're not going to get married because your friends die in the missions. I never really knew what was the reasons, reason. And since I cannot talk to you, since I cannot talk to you, I was wondering, maybe because of some crazy missions, that was some kind of excuse that you are married. Maybe because of some crazy missions, that was some some kind of excuse to tell me you are married. And since I've never had a chance to see you face to face, since I never had the chance to see you face to face, I never really realized whether that's the excuse for some terrible missions or for anything or you really married if you are married then I pray for you and for your wife more than for my life and I pray Jesus Christ and God to have mercy on me I've always been a strong believer. When I was a child, I was singing in the church every day. <laughs> they even chose me to play the role of Maria in the Christmas Christmas special children's they believed I'm very spiritual. 
and I was not playing spiritual. I was always truly asking, truly asking the spiritual questions that I'm with some crazy obstin obstinacy. I don't like ostentatious prey. I don't like ostentatious praying, praying. The ostentatious praying I've never really liked because I didn't feel it very authentic. There is no person on earth in front of that I should pray ostentatiously. Jesus Christ was living on the side to pray. And it was said, but it's not, not about those who pray ostentatiously. See God how good I am, how good things I do, and this neighbor of mine. See God how how I, de I deserve, but the neighbor does not deserve. I never believed in ostentatious prayer, never, because it's it never, since I was a little child, the ostentatious prayer never felt like authentic and very true. So, so, I don't have to do it in front of anybody to prove what's my attitude. If I decide to repost something Christian, that's because I like it. And because this may cheer somebody, like it cheers me. I woke up shaking and crying. Not because you're happily married, because if you are happily married, then I pray for you and for your wife more than for my life. But because that could mean that you didn't really want to see me and hug me again, and after all I've gone through, it's very mm, just terribly sad. Yes, you, you could think that I was acting. But acting in the theater for six years in thousands of musicals, I found, and I and singing on stage, no matter whether my heart breaks and I want to sit, sit down and cry, the Christmas events on board of on board of the cruise lines and in five star hotels the agents were taking huge amount of my money they take the singers from Poland to take to earn on them much as possible so I was hardly making it from contract to contract, trying not to challenge my parents with my situation. I could sing in five star hotels. They took from me such a big percent. I was hardly making it to another contract, wondering if I will survive. So acting in the in the theater and then singing on stage in many countries i 
where the heart breaks and I want to sleep forever or I feel okay I've come to the conclusion that there is nothing more amazing than being true these moments when we are true with ourselves when we can be true with the others that's why many of people have this have this need to be by themselves because these are the special moments when we can be really really true ourselves are the moments when we can be just true right in the face of God with with all we've lived with all we've gone through with all the ways we've tried how we tried and God knows you wait me to go to the church well I never feel so real and true so profoundly united with God then never feel so so profoundly united with God as much as in these moments when I stay by myself and do not pray just ostentatiously I like worship, worship songs I like to join them in the church but I'm not not in any system of those indeed and I don't like the the way of proving the faith, uh, the faith out there ostentatiously, like you know, trying to prove that I'm how much Christian and how much believing I am. When I try to prove it out there. it stops feeling so deep and profound in here that's how it works when some people try to prove their belief inside thought inside inside meditation inside unity with God out there out there ostentatiously and it doesn't feel so very special profound rich in here so rich that you have a feeling like with this story that unites you in God the Creator you reach all the times and all all the incarnations and the stories like from from ancient times to to the future uh, okay that was again difficult night because of the dream but I pray for you more than for my life Paul I pray for you more than for my life if you are happily married I pray for you and for your wife 
more than for my life. But maybe you are in trouble, maybe in prison, maybe like Manning or Jeff or Manning or Jeremy Hammond. But you are in sec secret services, so they they can hide all these things. Maybe you are in terrible troubles. And since I cannot talk to you face to face, I was always wonder in the world and ask myself the questions if I'm right to know or state anything. If you could be really happily married, then I pray for you more than for my life and for your happiness and for the person. But if not, because you don't talk to me face to face, and many people in the army are really on edge, then I don't want to hurt. I'd rather die than hurt anyone, including myself. It's enough of the hurt on earth. Unjustified. Completely. I love you and I pray for you more than for my life. Whatever is going on with you. Why do I publish this? Well, for many, many years I didn't. But maybe if I ask these questions in public, somebody out there sees and prays for a second or a fraction of, of a second for an answer for me, for you, for us. I pray for you and for yours more than for my life. My mother and father knows. And believe me, they lived more than most of the parents on earth. When for all these years, their child couldn't mislead them, pretending she's happy. We all make some crazy mistakes in the madness of our pain. I forgive them to you and I pray for you more than for my life. Hugs.